in this video I'm going to show you how to stop the run in Madden 22. Now I got a lot of requests for run defense video uh, with the latest patch. A lot of people are running the ball more so I wanted to do a quick video here today to break down how I like to shoot the run or how to stop the run uh, in Madden 22. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to leverage the power of the cover one Robert and we're also going to talk a little bit um, about Mike Blitz 3 maybe even Mike Blitz 0 and then we're going to come out in the 335 normal and audible down into uh, the 335 wide. Now, this is out of the 46 playbook. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. That way, you don't miss any of the videos that we upload. Uh, we post videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So, if you're looking to get better at this game, I'd really encourage you to, uh, like I said, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, I'm just going to come out in um, the I-form tight. We're going to talk about stretch. We're going to talk about inside zone or ISO. We're going to talk about power O, and we're going to talk about 26 duo, which I think are the majority of the better runs in this game. And then we'll also uh, we'll talk about fullback dive as well. Um, it's very similar to ISO, but we'll talk about that as well in this video. So uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to put uh, Tony Pollard in a fullback. we got tight ends here and then we'll come out in the play stretch and then we'll talk about shotgun runs if we have time uh, but then also what I wanted to talk about was within the like I said the audibles and then um, the beauty of this 3-3-5 wide defense is it's good against everything um, it, if you if you run this defense right it can be very powerful against everything which is really one of the, the very valuable pieces of this um, if you want to learn my full coverage defenses and blitzes and the whole scheme of this um, the whole ebook is in my Patreon membership. The cool part about the Patreon membership is it's not only just a 335 wide ebook, uh, but what you get with it is you get every Madden 22 offensive and defensive guide that I've released this season, any updates to those guides that I've released this season, and any new ebooks um, that I will release in the future. So if you want to get access to that, uh, it's only $10 a month. And again, the cool part about that, like I said, is you get access to everything. So if you want to sign up for that, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of the video as well. But we're going to come out and cover four drop out of 335 normal. This is in the 46 playbook and show you how to stop the run. So there's actually two primary ways in which you can stop the run. The first one is my favorite and the second one is kind of another way uh, to basically do it. So uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to leverage the power of the cover four show two. The reason why we like to do this defense is because both of these safeties right here are in the run fits. So literally we're just going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to crash them outside. And then from there, um, that's pretty much all I do. And the word's going to stand kind of right here. We don't want to blitz our user when they're running the ball. And what you'll see here is we can shoot through this gap. And you see, by and large, this is able to contain the stretch run to the right. And then we'll show you the stretch run to the left. On the left side, run is definitely the better way to run. But if they run stretch left, you'll see here, we get this nice contain from the outside quarter. And then also what I wanted to quickly point out here with this is this is a little bit of trial and error. Like the more you defend the run, the, the more like better you're going to get at shooting the gaps. So like you might need to be in a situation where you your user may not always be able to blow up every run in the game. Like that's that's a real, you know, concern. So if you wanted to kind of, you know, stand here maybe. And again, the stretch is to me the hardest one to shoot. But you see how I can shoot right down the middle. Um, typically what you can do out of stretch is they're gonna they're gonna and really most every run in this game um, If you hold left trigger right here, you can kind of shoot right through there See that right there. See I can shoot right through the middle. That's something that you can typically do in this game Okay um, Which is why I like to keep my D line pinched and you want to be off the ball just enough that the offensive line won't recognize you and you see how even if I can't shoot it perfectly, I typically will have a pretty decent ability to stop the run. So that's stretch left, stretch right. We'll show you stretch uh, right real quick one more time. So again, I'm going to sit right here. They run stretch right. See, I can shoot right through the gap and blow it up. Okay, so that's stretch right and left. Now, the reason I like cover four shot too is it's also a very safe pass defense. 
If you want to, what you can also do with this is shade your coverage up. That's going to put those quarter flats into curl flats. And then what you're going to see here is you're you're not going to lose anything in terms of uh, in terms of run support. Now, halfback power O, same basic thing. We're shooting right down the A gap, as you can see right there. We're going to shoot right in the middle where they're going to, uh, where that little gash is going to open up. So I'll show that to you again. So again, cover four, shot two, shade coverage up, pinch D line, and then I will go ahead and crash the line out. And what you'll see here with power O, even if they pick up our user, which is fine, honestly, it's fine, because your, your safeties are coming down on the off tackle run, which is what makes us such a good run defense. I'll show it to you one more time. A lot of times they won't pick up your user, but if they do, you have backside support. Let's talk about power row to the other side. So if they run power row to the other side, again, you're standing right here. Power row left. You see here, I can just kind of like shoot the gap too. I mean, it, I don't have to run straight down if I don't want to. I can also, I mean, I can kind of, you can kind of do either or. Um, so, you know, that's something else. So, Power row left, just kind of run over here. You see, just hold the hold the front and let the safeties make the play. Very simple D, but very effective, honestly. And you see how I can shoot there. The dive tackle is your friend too. When you shoot the gap, let's say you're about to get blocked. This is really good for like base runs and power row runs. Let's say you're about to get blocked right here. You can dive. And a lot of times what will happen is they'll actually miss the block this year, which is something that hasn't happened in previous years. So I'll show it again here. So if I'm here and I know they're running here, I'm just going to dive right through. And you see how the guard just kind of freaks out? He doesn't block me as I'm already diving. Okay. So that's power O. Let's talk about ISO. To me, ISO is one of the harder ones to blow up. But what you're going to do here, same kind of thing. You really want to dive, uh, there my dive just didn't register, but you really want to dive just before. You really want to dive just before um, you get blocked. So like right in there, and you're just blowing this up. Now what you can also do with the dive, especially the ISO, is you can shoot the opposite side A gap. So like here, I can go here and come around like that. That makes it really hard too. So that's an easy way to stop dive. If I run the dice ISO to the, the back side here, same kind of thing. See, I can shoot through there. It's it's already hard to run dive, to be honest, because like the way the game works this year, people run into each other so badly that it's hard to get ISO consistent. Uh, and then fullback dive here is not too hard to stop this year. Again, you're just shooting the A gap. So. If they're in fullback dive, in it's wherever they run. But let's say they run left, you're just gonna come right in here, and shoot that gap. And you again, you want to be off the, this year more than any other year. I think it makes sense to be a little bit more off of the line of scrimmage. Maybe shift a little bit to the strong side here, because you want that double team there, and then it allows your safeties to shoot in. Worst case scenario, you're gonna give up a five yard gain, but typically you're not. I'll show that again. See how I can kind of come around and make the play. And then the other thing you could do with fullback dive, if you blitz both of your outside linebackers, it makes it a lot harder to run. So you'll see here the targeting messes up. It just makes it harder to run. We're going to talk about shotgun runs real quick at the end of the video here. Um, and then, like I said, if you want the rest of the defense, it's in the Patreon. Uh, shotgun runs, we're going to talk about two primary runs, and you can get them both out a bunch. We're going to talk about base. Actually, I lied. Um, let me just set a couple of audibles here. We're going to do counter, tray, and they don't have base in that formation. Okay, so let's talk about base here, and then we'll talk about it the other formation but if it's base it's the same basic thing as power up so you just run right through the middle then you see by and large you have other players that are coming back into the fit to be able to help you out of the cover four the other thing you could do with base especially on a shotgun is you can actually shoot right through that gap and then dive tackle him from behind so I'll show that one more time 
And cover four show two is honestly the most passive. If you were to run, you know, some of the other plays, you'd be a little bit better off. But you see, I'm running the play down with my user. And then if I really wanted to um, shoot it from the front side, I just need a dive right there. See how that dive really messes? It's even, even if I don't make the tackle, it's going to mess the angle up for the back. And he has to go a certain direction. So you can go either gap. But basically, you're going in here. There it is right there. That's the dive. Okay? So that's um, bunch. And then uh, trips. Base is basically the same. Um, basically the same but with trips I think the counter is the one that's the harder one so again same exact setup as the under center you're standing right here if they run inside zone on you remember if you run inside zone they typically are going to double team that back side so it allows a lane for your user uh, to shoot in so let me show you inside zone here inside zone is actually not bad um, I think inside zone is really not a bad run against 33 puck wide, but I mean the reality is you could stand if you stand kind of right in here, you should be able to shoot it from the backside just like you would base and just like you would counter. I will say I think trips tight end is probably the best shotgun run for that because it has three different angles of runs. If they run counter, you see how I can come in, and he does pick me up. But again, it's the same situation that we talked about before. If you're going to get blocked, just dive. And and if and what will happen a lot of times is you'll make the tackle. Even if you don't make the tackle, oftentimes it messes up the running back angle and it can really limit the run. So if you're going to get blocked, just dive. Uh, you see here, going to get blocked, dive in, and you see the defense hold. So that's a simple run defense. It's really nothing too crazy. Um, another thing you can do real quick another setup is to spread the line um, now if you spread the line what you have to understand is you it's a little easier to run inside um, it's, a, it's just a little easier so I'll show you to you again here if you spread the D line and you stand right here to me you can stop the inside zone a little better I guess but to me it's just a, it's a little harder to stop everything else that a run can do or a run set can do um, especially harder to stop in this run counter but I mean it's not bad so you could also you if you don't want to if you don't want to pinch the D-line then you can spread them and you'll see here that you know same kind of thing just shoot through the a gap okay so that's how you stop every run in Madden 22 or at least every major sh mainstream running play. If you want more specifics about run defense or if you want more specifics about pass defense and the coverage behind all of this, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. But also, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon for just $10 a month. You get access to every ebook, every exclusive tip, every exclusive update, every new ebook while your membership is active. So if you want to get access to all that, we update the Patreon every single week with new material. So I think it's a great way for you to get better at the game. We've already got 20 offensive and defensive guides in there as well. So with more on the way. So if you want to get access to all of that, um, it does have the 335 wide in there along with several other uh, defenses. So I would really encourage you to sign up for that. Again, there's a link in the description below if you want to. For just $10 a month, you're going to unlock everything over at the Patreon.